and welcome back to another What's For Dinner video. I have actually got a special guest, well, just quickly. <laughs> there she is, Peggy. She loves to sit with me at the kitchen table, so I thought I would just show her, because why not? Um, but back to the video. So yeah, I'm going to show you three different meals that we've had this week for dinner. All of them are really easy to make, really simple, quick, yummy, delicious, all the things that you want to hear, all the positives. Um, and they're also all gluten-free and they're all low FODMAP, which is super, super handy. So this week I am talking about a pasta dish, a chicken creamy pasta dish, which is really, really nice. Also. Oh, we're going down the chicken road, but um, oh, like a roast dinner tray bake, which you can you can use whatever you want But we use chicken thighs um, and then also the big one is that one of the recipes is from my upcoming recipe cookbook cookbook recipe But whatever you want to call it um, It is called how to make anything gluten-free So one of the recipes is actually from inside there So I thought I'd just show you how to make it so that when you do get the book you can refer back and watch it and it'll make it all really simple and all that. Um, so yeah, I'll link my book below so that you can go and check it out and pre-order it if you really fancy. I'd really appreciate that, it'd be really cool. Um, yeah, I think that's it. I think you probably just wanna watch me make some dinners. So we'll get on with that. But firstly, let's just have another look at the, the special guest. On with the video! So firstly, my one tray chicken roast dinner. And by the way, Mark is here with me today. Hello. <laughs> Hello. Give you my opinion. So firstly, I peeled my potatoes. I peeled all my veg. So I chose potatoes. Good choice. <laughs> parsnips. I like all my root veg, you might notice. And carrots. They're very thin, so I did quite a few. Then I just chopped them all up into sort of random reasonably big chunks because it's going to be in the oven for a little while then i drizzled some oil onto my tray and put all my veg on and just sort of massaged it in so that it had a bit of oil on it um, and then i just plonked some chicken thighs in between the veg um, and then i just seasoned it a little bit so i used a bit of salt um, some mixed herbs and also a little bit of pepper as well and then just popped it in the oven and that Boom. was as simple as that. It came out looking absolutely delicious. Didn't take too long. Um, and we just got really nice like roast dinner, just middle of the week, done. Oh, and I made the gravy from your book. Oh yeah, and, and we also put some pigs and blankets and some a little portion of peas as well. But yeah, the gravy is from my book, which is awesome. And here's another one from my new book. Um, it's a campfire stew, which is amazing, but I won't be telling you all the details and ingredients, etc., because I'm not allowed. Um, <laughs> but I'll give you a little bit of a, a sneak preview. You get in trouble. Yeah, so I put some sausages in a big pan and browned them a bit. Then I added some veg, so just some pepper and some carrot. Added a load of spices and flour for thickening. Added some water, some chopped tomatoes, and a stock cube just for a little bit extra flavor, mixed it all together and just left it. And it Ooh. bubbled away, reduced and became lovely and thick. Then near the end, I added some butter beans, just a small amount um, and just stirred them in. Added some spring onions because it needed a bit of green, I thought. And honestly, the simplest, most yummy thing you could ever eat. How would you describe like the taste? It was like almost almost barbecuey, like a deep, yeah. a deep, rich tomatoey flavour. Oh, and this is what I made. Yes. My chicken Alfredo. This is only the second time I made it, so I'm still perfecting it. Yes, I asked for this, didn't I? Yes. So <laughs> I'm melting some butter, and I put my pasta on, obviously. Yep. Um, just swirl that I around. I love that you're doing. Give that. it a mix. <laughs> so I put my chicken in, and you can use whole chicken breasts. I use these mini Phillips or whatever. Yep. So then, once they're fried. You just shred them. You love shredding chicken, don't you? Well, I seem to lean towards these recipes, yeah. just coincidentally. Um, so I use this cream for the creamy sauce, because obviously I'm lactose intolerant. Um, but I would recommend using a lactose-free cream, because then it's low FODMAP. Yeah. And also it just works better. Yeah. So I added some oregano to it, some white pepper, just a little bit of seasoning, and some salt. And it's lovely and creamy. Add in your shredded chicken. Yep. And you kind of just throw it all together at this point. Mm. So I then put in spinach. Doesn't normally have spinach, but I thought... I love you've got these big chunks of cheese. Yeah, I couldn't be bothered to grate it. So I just kind of broke it up as it melted. Yeah. Chuck in your pasta. Yep. I also put in pecorino as well. Yeah. And then chives. Uh-huh. And that is it. Now, because I used that dairy-free cream, it seemed to just kind of disappear. Yeah. Because I kind of had to reduce it a little bit. But if you use lactose-free cream, that wouldn't be a problem. So... But we served up with some rocket. And it was delicious. 
So as I mentioned earlier, the full campfire stew recipe is in my new cookbook, which is how to make anything gluten free, which I will link below. There's lots of other recipes that you'll love if you've enjoyed what's in this video as well. So definitely go and check it out. Um, and yeah, if you've enjoyed this video and want to watch more videos like this, then click up here um, to see some more what's for dinner videos and click up here for some winter warmer slow cook videos. And I will see you and possibly Peggy will see you in the next video. Bye.